So, Naomi and Casey here. Hello. Casey's back from vacation. I'm back from the sun. Yay. Yes. So, today, a project. Color matching. Color matching. We're going to match colors today. Yes. So, so what do we need? What do we need today? We just need our six colors um, plus white. So, here I got a little set of, from the Michael Wilcox School of Color. I highly recommend these if you don't have the paint at home and get a tube of white too. And then a palette knife, palette paper, or a mixing palette. If you don't have a palette knife, invest in one. Mm, yeah, so easy to clean and really convenient. So yeah. you'll want one for this, for this project. For this project, yeah. Yes. We didn't even use a brush, really. Mm -hmm. um, and just cleans up with paper, yep. so you don't even need solvent if you're nope. not using a brush. Nope. Super easy, handy. easy. Yeah. And the fun part is you need to go grab some color swatches you call these swatches yeah these yeah um the one thing i did recognize when we were kind of practicing was it was helpful to have a value sheet like with all yeah with them. all of them on here instead of having just the one individual color because it's nice to see where you are in the on that on that yes spectrum. sometimes so, you accidentally reach the color and you don't realize it like sometimes it might be really dark and you didn't realize yes. you were the color and you'd keep mixing and mixing and not realizing, oh, I'm there already. And I just need to add white to bring it up. Right. So yeah, we'll get into that in, yep. in just a little bit. Yep. Okay. The other thing you'll really want is mm -hmm. a color wheel. Mm -hmm. Super helpful. If you don't have one, um, you can buy them, but we made this one and I highly recommend you make your own because you learn so much in that process. Yeah, you can go back in her videos and find how we made this. Um, and you'll see when you start putting things together, you'll might swing one way or the other and you'll know to go back by counterbalancing it. So. Yeah. This is helpful. Really is helpful. Yeah. So okay. let's, let's get going. Let's get started. How about one of that yellow Someone one? There. Yeah. Okay. And which one along the yellow one are you thinking? Um let's do well, so the one I had, drops of honey. Okay. So the first step is to find the hue. Hue is hue, H-U-E, and that refers to the color name closest to the one you're looking for. So we just called this the yellow one. So mm -hmm. we automatically kind of pegged it in our head as the being yellow. Mm -hmm. And I would think more of the yellow orangey rather than the mm -hmm. green. Yeah. It's interesting how they look um, like a different colored orange. When we were looking at this one earlier, how it had looked more purpley and pink. How it changes it's impressive to know that this is the same color just in a lighter value yes that is one thing to know about color chips is that rather than it being um this way on the color wheel like like this way it really is this way on the value scale where it's so just it's going, color lighter. going lighter adding more white right so okay okay so we're going to start with yellow as our base coat but then it'll need to be adjusted because these are the two yellows that we have. Mm -hmm. So I need to mix these two. Be is that what we did? We mix these two together, or just this you one? You can. Or f which one is the closest to this? I would is say this one. Okay, so start with that on your pile okay. mixing area. Okay. And now, um, so that is the hue. We we've got that. Now we need to look at the saturation. Mm -hmm. Next term is saturation. That is the brightness or dullness of a color. Mm -hmm. So this is a really bright yellow. Really bright yellow. And so this is the color wheel again. So we're way out here mm -hmm. and the, this is full neutral. Mm -hmm. So um, we need to find where it'll fall to get to neutral mm -hmm. and also what will get us there. Mm -hmm. So blue violet is the opposite of this yellow. Mm -hmm. Although we do know it'll pull it a little green but if it pulls green, um, if it pulls a little bit too much green, we can always add red to bring it okay. back. So, Okay, so I'm adding this one. Yep. Yep, it got real green. It got very us. green. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We already have the solution in mind, right? Yep. That's the lovely thing about mixing paint. Don't have to worry, don't have to panic. Okay, so now we have to go yellow, or no. 
you can add a little yellow. I have a feeling it probably needs more yellow, but um, this one. Yeah, either because we started with this one, so we're when we say more yellow, this is the one that we had, and it ended up green. So up we green. actually need to get way back. We need to pull it back. So if you even add some of this red, it'll start pulling it this way. Okay, yeah. So, so I, I would add red. that that red. Uh, no, well, yeah, that it's, I would probably add that orange red actually. The orange, this one over here. Uh huh. Yeah, we're always going to get in too much of the blues to make it green. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, to me, that looks pink. Well, maybe getting down in here. Yeah. Oh, that's really close to that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is looking pretty. That's spot on. Pretty close. So now we know we're at the right hue and saturation, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're wanting to get to the right value. Mm -hmm. Value, that's the lightness or darkness of a color. So, yep. Let me add the white. Yep. And and, and you, I like how you pulled off half of it, so then you won't use as much white. Spend, or won't, uh, yeah. It won't take as much white to change the value then because there's less paint to move let's see Ooh, that's coming together look at that let's hold this up next to it and see what that's looking like hmm it needs more yellow Yellows. maybe mm -hmm. Temperature is the warmness or coolness of a color. Warm colors would be red, orange, yellow, and cool colors would be blue, um, violet, green. So we're going back and adding more yellow. Is it the yellow that we started with? I think I would. Okay. Um, and, and at this point, you can just add micro amounts, right? Yeah, this is the part that I always kind of struggle with is getting too much. You guys, Casey's doing such a great job. She's just been painting like a couple weeks and look at her go. Mm. <laughs> Got a good teacher. Ah, I think you're doing great. What do you so think? Maybe some up in here. We may need to bring a little more. Like these look a little still more on the say orange. Yeah. So I'll try this. Now I know I can pull it up there if I need to. Yeah, that's a good um, safety blanket, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh, wow. I think that's coming in there. Look at that. That really did work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to just try it on the card? Sure. And then wipe the edge so that we don't see if, see the edge there? Oh, that's pretty close. Oh, wow, that is. When you if, have... if anything, it'd be just a smidge mm -hmm. lighter in value, but yeah. Let's that's just see. pretty Let's close. Just see what happens. And now that's just a smidge lighter. What if you mix those Maybe two? These two together, apparently. Yeah. So a little bit of that. We're being pretty a picky. Bit of that. Well, that just goes to show just how much control we have, which is complete control over these colors. Amazing. We're just starting with a few colors. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Completely Perfect. disappeared. <laughs> nice. Yay! Woohoo! Yay! How exciting <laughs> when it works! Yeah! <laughs> Stay tuned for Watson's recap. 
Hey, if you're finding value in this video, please hit like. Okay, good job. Four things. Heal <coughs> uh, and then <coughs> saturation. <coughs> and then <coughs> value. Can you say value? <coughs> and then <coughs> temperature. <coughs>